When you add a multiliter, the content placed at the end of the multiliter can be either multiline text or a block. The easiest way to place a block at the end of a multiliter is to define a multiliter style that specifies the block you want to insert. But if you already have a block defined in the current drawing, you can include the block on the fly as long as you know the name of the block. Here's how. Let's start the multiliter command. When AutoCAD displays the first multiliter prompt, right-click and choose Options, and then choose Content Type. Change the content type to Block. Then type the name of the block that you want to insert. In this case, I've already created a block called Tag Circle. which happens to be a circle with an attribute. This creates a callout that can be used for things like part numbers. Type the block name and then press Enter. Remember that if you don't enter a valid block name, the only other way to get out of this step is to cancel the command and start over. When you're finished adjusting other options, exit from the option selection. Then I'll locate the arrowhead and the landing. Notice that since the block I'm inserting has an attribute associated with it, AutoCAD now prompts me to enter the attribute value. I'll enter a value of 1 and then press Enter to end the command. I'll repeat that, but before I do, I'll change the attribute dialog system variable by typing ATTDIA and change its value to 1. That way, when AutoCAD prompts me to enter attribute values, it will do so using a dialog box. Now let's place another multiliter. I'll click the multiliter button, right click, and choose Options from the shortcut menu, choose Content Type, and specify a block as the content type. Notice that AutoCAD remembers that the last block I used was called Tag Circle. I'll press Enter to use that same block. Then I'll exit from the option selection. Again, I'll locate the arrowhead and then the landing. This time, when AutoCAD prompts me for the attribute value, it displays a dialog box. I'll enter a value of 2, and then click OK to close the dialog. Again, that completes the command. So as you've seen, you can control the type of content used when you create a multiliter. But if you need to create some multiliters that include text and others that include blocks, it is much easier to create several different multiliter styles and then select the desired style to get the desired appearance.